In the beginning of the year, Mella and I went to New York City for Plattercon Europe Adventures. And in this video, I want to show you what I actually got while I was in New York. It was an amazing whirlwind of a trip. We arrived quite late on Wednesday, but not too late that the shops were not open anymore. So we ran over to Brooklyn to Fulton Street and had a lovely shop around Michael's, Northern Rack, TJ Maxx, Target. Burlington, but we didn't get anything there. Old Navy, we did get stuff there and more. And I have to say like, it almost felt like my shopping was then complete. We managed to hit some stores sort of during not business hours because sort of after five, 6 p.m. we were able to still hit the shops because they were usually open until around eight or nine. And very luckily one of the mornings our meeting got canceled. So I actually took Mela with me on the bus to New Jersey where there was an outlet center where we also did a lot of great shopping. So yeah, in between between sort of the normal working days were some fringes where we were able to pick up some things and also just going to Target was amazing. So let me actually quit doing this intro and get on with things. First up, shout out to Mela. She was an amazing travel buddy. And what was really fun is that like when we were boarding the plane, she gave me this cutie from the Lego store, I think in Brussels or Antwerp. So that was really fun. And although we didn't actually see the Statue of Liberty up close, we did at one point drive by it. So that was really fun to sort of see and yeah it's really fun to have not just this and other things that we're twinning in but also the memories together i got a new suitcase it's quite big it has wheels and a top handle and a side handle and everything the last time i bought luggage was actually when i was in utah back in 2018 but it was really time to get a big suitcase because it gave me some more room sort of to shop i didn't need this big of a bag i think like more like cabin sized luggage would have worked as well but it was nice to be able to buy something bigger as I knew that the bigger one here was actually already gone with the trash so uh, it filled a hole in my life so to say. It also allowed me to get some more stuff on Trader Joe and Target so that was definitely fun. Super duper duper lucky we were in a big Target uh, in Brooklyn and there they had all kinds of pumpkin spice things on clearance so it's best before July 2023 so I have to eat this before pumpkin spice season but that is fine this was such a fun purchase yes it's a family size 18 ounces i don't even know how many grams that is of a pumpkin spice cheerios but i had to take that with me and also in that same target was actually a whole bunch of pumpkin spice tea chai so um before you're thinking is this tea i took apart all the packaging but because my suitcase is quite big i was still able to take it with me to see if i maybe want to use it in my travel journal and then because you know this is a lot of air i wrapped everything in saran wrap that is one of the tricks that i picked up from my mom and inside are all these tea bags with pumpkin spice chai so there's 20 per pack i think i picked up 100 tea bags that will be fun that will keep me going for the next couple of months in theory also bought at target was actually this saran wrap so this is now the wrap that i will keep in my suitcase so i will have it with me always i just forgot to pack it going to new york but i was happy to be able to pick it up then also at that target i picked up some yeah so the packaging is all flat so give me one sec i picked up some goods and gather organic maple brown sugar instant oatmeal and similar to that at trader joe's i got some protein cinnamon instant oatmeal super yummy all of them are sort of wrapped in these little packages so i'm gonna unpack that and put that away in my kitchen then the other crazy thing that i took home with me is tazo classic chai latte as far as i know tazo is the starbucks brand in target this plus pumpkin spice latte tazo tea bag should result in my much loved pumpkin spice chai. So what I do, I get a chai latte iced at Starbucks and then I have two pumps of pumpkin spice delicious so in theory i can do something like that myself this came over in like eight layers of bubble wrap but it still uh, survived it's good until february 2024 so at least i'll be able to use this uh during pumpkin spice season speaking of pumpkin spice i picked up some trader joe's pumpkin spice rooibos yes 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 last time i had this was in 2017 when a friend gave me some at Planacon Europe actually so that ties in nicely. I've been rationing myself so I'm really happy that I picked up some more. This specific tin did not really survive the trip but that's fine the contents are still good. 
Oh, it smells delicious and I have some more tins because of course I'm gonna stock up I always drink rooibos tea anyway and pumpkin spice rooibos. It's delicious. I love it I also got a bit more of the everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend with sea salt garlic and onion At Target I also picked up some pumpkin pie spice which is different from the pumpkin spice I already have from um, the Target house brand so that's fun One evening we were just chilling in the hotel tiny bit bored so so I asked Mela if she wanted to go to Target with me and we did. We hopped on the subway for three stops and we went to the Target and it was supposedly a super big one. We honestly didn't see that but still I was able to pick up some fun things. I got Country Time Lemonade and Country Time Pink Lemonade. So this is a sort of, it's probably a sugar like consistency but you put it in water and then you have lemonade and pink lemonade so that was super fun and i'm really happy that i did because i know that this is going to be my whole identity this summer so yeah stay tuned for that we were really a big fan of the lunchables that we were able to pick up at target i know this is food for four-year-olds but we were so excited about these that was basically our dinner because we decided that we wanted to explore and do shopping more than we wanted to go to dinner so on that first night in brooklyn we actually got like a big plastic container filled with fruit and a big plastic container filled with little uh, vegetables that we could dip in the hummus and i also had the everything but the bagel seasoning kettle cooked potato chips yeah it, this was not it just get the seasoning don't get this this was this was yeah i didn't really like this a plus for the idea but no on taste unfortunately something that i'm still excited to try and yeah if you see the best before date it is still before this date when i'm filming it this is butternut squash ravioli from trader joe's thin stuffed pasta with a sweet butternut squash so so looking forward to this i will update you on my stories how this actually was moving from food to accessories actually going via food accessories so at target i picked up some seedable treat bags in this cute sort of heart print you can see here on the back that they are see-through and also very cute is this sprinkles and napkin that i found also at target and i got two mugs and a cute container this mug is from target it was from their valentine's line i've been using it sort of the last month adorable cute hearts inside is red and then at marshall's the first marshall's the one near fulton street was this hello pumpkin mug really fun i like the shape of it cannot wait to use this in october and also at that marshall i picked up this cute heart container it really reminds me of le creuset and it's from the bake shop i have some other things from the bake shop already so that is fun perfect for little lasagnas i think i didn't use it this year but then next year valentine's day is going to be amazing with this also food related was this rosé all day candy bento box inside it looks really pretty and i saw this in nordstrom rack and i just knew i had to have it and then also at nordstrom rack i picked up a few beauty items because mela sort of knew all the things i needed to have so she definitely influenced me in that direction i got this lancome hydrating and toning duo they look like this so the information on here tells me that it was a 49 dollar package the suggested set price value was 57 dollars but it was on clearance for $18.72 so that was a really good deal it was really fun actually to be there in the first week of January even though it was quite cold it actually was not really that cold all the days but it's like the Christmas clearance was on so we got some amazing deals also Nordstrom Rack is one of my favorite shops to visit so it was extra fun to not only have really good finds there but also have them on clearance because I also picked up two little Clinique Christmas prezzies so this is a Clinique chubby stick and moisturizer and then this one has an eye cream and a little mascara I think right yeah but also don't they just look adorable like to get these as presents and then also lastly I picked up this because I just really like the packaging bad habit $29 for a 39 value but it was down to 19 this is a moisturizing cleanser moisturizer nightly cleansing balm and a night cream so really cute and i like i said i like the packaging of it and i thought when i have this in my life everything will be a lot better so it will be fun to use those now okay before we actually go into fashion and planners i still do want to show you this mela and i 
well I especially was fully on Stanley talk so the part of TikTok that was all about the Stanley cups I actually found them but they were $40 so that was a bit out of my price range I was still looking out for the slightly smaller one the travel size ones to uh, go matchy matchy with Mela but unfortunately we couldn't find those but then on the last day we found this in a Marshalls and we got one so I got this one I think Mela got the pink one and now we're you know two hydrating queens and we can match so it has like a pull-up little straw you can also lift this and then drink normally and then inside there's actually two straws so that is good and it's also just ginormous i mean look if you compare it to my head i'm not sure how many fluid ounces are in here it doesn't say it's and it's from the brand Hydra Peak, but I got it because it's a cute color. So yeah, then to fashion and fashion accessories I picked up these Nike sneakers Nike sneakers in the outlet center in New Jersey I've been wearing them a bit So if I would have filmed like in the beginning of January I could have shown them off better, but I really like the colors I like sort of the stitching that some pieces are slightly loose I will put a information about this specific shoe down but I want to say that they were around 40 dollars i mean a steal i'm really happy with them and it's nice to be able to uh recycle some of my older shoes now also at the outlet center in marshall's i picked up this bag mela actually has the same bag and it was quite silly and fun that on the last day we were both wearing this bag yeah so slight cringe but still fun i'm not the biggest fan of this sort of puffy trend but because it is sort of stitched together i do really like it also it's a perfect neutral and then the other bag the one i won't bring with me on site on except, except for christmas baby is actually this bag this is a kate spade new york bag it's an outlet bag the tag says that it was sold at 140 dollars i think that is quite right maybe actually slightly higher they originally had it at Marshalls for $99 and now it was on clearance, final clearance for $49. So that was something that I needed to bring home with me. So that's a cute little bow and then you open it up like this and then the whole sort of cover opens and you can put your things inside. Adorable, really happy with this. Also really happy because I was not able to pick a bag up in the Kate Spade outlet and not that that was really necessary, but the bag that I took with me, so my purse, like every day in New York was honestly disintegrating in front of my eyes so it was really on the hunt like i need a bag i was hoping to find something it's kate spade i didn't but then probably 10 minutes later i found this and i found this so this was then my purse for the rest of the trip and this is just sort of the cutest bonus bag that actually now lives up here in my billy bookcase so it will go back after the filming of this video so even though i didn't get a bag at kate spade i of course visited the outlet store and was able to pick something up so i actually got this adorable gingerbread house this is the the back and this is the side on the keychain is also this adorable little gingerbread man and as it was after christmas and this style has already been out for a while it was on super clear and so that was lucky because this actually did not come to europe you can in theory put something in here because it opens up i say put something in here maybe one coin <laughs> like nothing else will fit also at the store they were selling some of these sort of leather stickers i picked up this one and the little pretzel that's actually now on my work planner i think for two dollars a piece so that was fun and then my final Kate Spade item is actually from the Rockefeller Center store so a boutique it was this cute headband so yeah I maybe should actually have worn it today this cute headband from I want to say April March or April 2022 and now it was on clearance for $40 so still a bit steep for um, a headband like it keeps your hair away this was not $40 but to have the memento from the New York trip, Rockefeller Center and Kate Spade, I thought this would be a really nice purchase. And also it's an easy way to add some flair sort of to your outfits. A quick target purchase were these socks for St. Patrick's Day and then at Old Navy. And yes, I totally forced Mela into twinning with me. Mela and I got matching pajamas from Old Navy and it was really fun to wear these together. Mela was slightly kicking and screaming. <laughs> no. Oh, no, she was a very good sport about it and I really appreciated that she allowed me to uh, get us matching pajamas I did offer the choice between this one and another one and that was even more garish so I'm happy that we went with this one and then another pair of pajamas that I got in actually the Old Navy store in the New Jersey outlet is this crazy amazing tartan onesie pajamas really happy that i still was able to pick up a christmas pjs at old navy also the item that i really did not need but i felt like 
I should really buy a crazy bag in New York is in this box. A while back on TikTok, I saw a video of this store that has wholesale prices, but you can actually shop in without being a business. And I had remembered that I'd saved that. And then Mel and I were able to go via that store. And this store has jewelry and like brooches and also some really, really over the top bags. I got, okay. Are you ready? And also, mom, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I got a bedazzled cupcake bag. It was really fun. I saw one in the window and it was fully rainbow and it was a bit over the top. So we asked the owners, like, do you maybe have another one? And then he did have another one, but it was, I want to say silver and gold. So still quite muted. And I know I say muted when I'm holding a bedazzled cupcake bag, but I sort of explained to him like, well, yeah, I mm, like mm, I saw maybe something in a video and I was actually looking for something maybe with with pink, like a realistic coloring of a cupcake. The rainbow was a bit too much and the silver and gold was a bit not enough. So we sort of started walking towards the exit and then suddenly I saw something pink and it looked like a cupcake and we were all like, what is that? And it turned out to be a cupcake. And also the other customers in the store were really happy for me that I was able to sort of get what I wanted. So inside you actually do get a little chain. Then there's two little hooks that you have to sort of flip out. And then it closes back again with a magnet and then you have your cupcake bag. Also, by the way, what's inside are a few more of the diamonds. So if something falls off, I can easily fix that. And I'm really happy that just a random TikTok video turned into me getting so much joy from this. So also thank you, Mela, for hyping me up. Really, really pleased with this. And it also arrived safely because it has a purpose-built box for it. And I saran wrapped it, so it came over fully safe, really happy. And now I cannot wait to actually find a spot for it in my Billy bookcases. Then last but not least, my Target bag filled with planner stuff. Speaking of Target, on the last morning, I picked up the 50 Crayola Super Tip package with all of these colors in there. I think this was a five or eight dollars, like how could I not? So that was a fun trip to the grocery store. Also fun, these paper source pretzel puffy stickers that look like this. It's missing some, but of course I gave them to Mela. And then this was a gift from Mela. Thank you, Mela. We picked this up at Goods for the Study, which was in the West Village and also in the East Village were some fun sort of uh, places to visit stationary wise. And our hotel was in the Lower East Side, which allowed us to quickly go to Brooklyn at Michael's. First up, I got these red metal discs, 11 discs in the normal size, the classic size. And I want to say there was 40% of anything Happy Planner. Could have been 30, but still way cheaper than everything we have here in Europe. And actually I should have started with these pens. These are amazing. This is the fourth set I have of them. I really like the shape. They're square. I really like the colors. I really like the sentiments of do amazing things, choose joy, live in the moment, be brave and dream big. And they write really, really well. I want to say they're $3 for five pence. So that is always a steal. They are actually in the sort of till area where you have to zigzag before you get to the cash registers. So you might want to check them out. They write with black ink. Then I could not go home without getting a planner. This is the Spread More Joy Graceful Heart January to December 2023 planner with blue metal discs, cool front, and also cute and cool monthly dividers. Unfortunately, I came home and I suddenly saw a full air bubble here. And I say bubble was like a air pocket of the cover, not catching sort of the material. So it's very really unfortunate that I only saw it like when I was at home. I still need to email the Happy Planner about it, but I'm sure they will sort it out because they have done so with other issues with their planners in the past. And also on the back, there's the same sort of pocket. So that is quite annoying. And also here on the inside, you can see it quite well. Yeah, there you see. And then finally, I also got some sticker books. I have Feels Like Sunshine. This is actually the second one that I have because I accidentally bought it again in New York. Then I also got Essential Home. This is Fall Harvest, which honestly I probably would not have gotten if it wasn't on sale when I was in New York. But still, fall stickers, autumn stickers are always good. Then I got Trendsetter in the accessory book. I'm really sad that I did not actually pick up this sticker book when it came out. But... I have this, plus I have now the mini sticker book that I picked up on Vinted, so that's good. And then also Digital Detox. I did already flip through it when I was in 
Rhode Island, but this time it was on clearance for $10. You can see the little price tag here. And then I want to say that it was even another 30% or maybe 40% off when we actually paid. So uh, I could not leave that because that was such a good deal. Although I have seen better deals in, in the past. Shopping in America at craft stores is amazing. It was still a very good deal that I'm very happy about. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up in New York. And it just goes to show if you prep your trip, if you plan your trip and you map out your trip, you can do a lot in a small amount of time. So that first evening we were shopping, I think we only shopped for two hours, but we hit six stores and I think we did 90% of our shopping. So that was really good and really fun. And I'm really happy that Mela allowed me to sort of guide her through New York City. Hopefully I'll visit the States again this year, but for now, at least I have enough pumpkin spice rooibos and everything but the bagel seasoning for a while. So that's good. And also I think I have enough stickers now. Well, I don't think you ever can have enough stickers, but at least I was able to get some of the things that I wanted and got a lot of my wish list actually sorted. So that is really good. But I'm sure there will be new things coming out that I desperately want because I could not have said in October that I would want this and that I would be really, really happy with having one of these ginormous water bottles now thanks very much for watching if you have any tips for new york for me next time definitely drop them down below in the comments and i would really appreciate if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel see you in my next video Bye bye